Hans Gar's forge hammer. Big, bright, and distinctive, even from a mile away, you know exactly what you're looking at. Now these forge hammers come in three different color designs. Comes in blue from heroic mode, green from normal mode, and then of course you have the red design for mythic mode. Now if you're interested in getting this weapon, which a personal favorite of mine, you can head over here to Black Rock Foundry and fight the bosses, of course, Hansgar and Franzok. Over here in the Black Forge section of the Black Rock Foundry raid, which is in the top part of Gorgrun in Draenor, of course. And the drop chances are different. For the normal mode, the green one is going to be a 22% chance. For heroic, the blue one, a 25% chance. And for the red one, on mythic mode, it is a low 9% chance to drop. And Franzok actually drops Hansgar's weapons, and Hansgar drops Franzok's weapons. So just to keep that in mind. And he didn't drop the hammer for us here, but he did drop a different one, which is not on this list, but still a cool mace to look at if you're interested in that design. The next weapon is the Blade Fist. Very beautiful design, incredible. Also comes in the green, blue, and the red format. Of course, green is normal, blue is heroic, red is mythic. And they also have different drop chances, but slightly better than the previous weapon. Slightly, depends on how you would look at it. For the normal mode, it has a 16% chance to drop. Heroic has again 25%, and mythic this time has a 19% chance to drop if you're interested in the red design. Now it seems like uh, heroic mode is the way to go because it has the highest chance to drop the weapon and also it is much easier to solo on heroic mode because keep in mind this is a level 100 raid so mythic mode is a complete step above and it can be very difficult if you are not fully geared on your character and if you try to solo it. But I'm pretty sure it is possible and he doesn't drop it for us here. The next weapon is the Sand Polished Hammer. Pretty cool one, very unique, you know, you don't see too much weapons out here that looks like this one. Very smooth, clean, and simple design. I like this one. You can find a nice transmog design to mix it with, and you can get it from Assyrian the Unscarred in the Ruins of An Karaj. Of course, on the bottom side of Silithis, in the bottom part of Kalimdor. And the percentage on this, I believe it was 15% if I researched correctly, which not too bad. And then we also have the Scepter of the False Prophet, which is going to be in the Temple of Anchorage. As you see here, it's a very long weapon design for a mace. It has a yellow glow to it, so you don't have to add any enhancements to it. It has a really cool look to it. I really like this one. I'm not sure on any transmog designs I could pair it with, but of course... The more you have, the more stuff you can mix it up with. But of course, it's going to be right next to the ruins of Ankaraj and Silithis. It's just going to be on the other side. And of course, it drops from Cthun. And this weapon also has a 15% chance to drop from him. Which is kind of on the lower side, but you still do have a chance. And I'm still fascinated by Cthun. Just the idea, the concept behind him is amazing. I've always wondered if there's anything behind this thing that looks like a door. And then we have the Gladiator's Pummeler. It's a very intimidating and aggressive red look to it. Another personal favorite of mine. It goes well with a lot of different transmog gear here. You can easily get it from Keswick the Striker. Of course, we're in Area 52 of Netherstorm in the top half for the Burning Crusade expansion in the Outlands, of course. You know, it costs you a whopping five marks of honor of about 41 and you can easily get this from doing pvp battlegrounds anyways thanks for watching hope to see you in the next video